feel like this is one of those things, you either do it or you don't. So we actually made these. A big priority for us this time was to have a big bed. Just wherever you wanna go, you can. Hi, I'm Nate. I'm Daish. And this is our Duramax shuttle bus. Come take a look. Welcome to our bus. Here is the entryway. Um, unfortunately, we are getting ready to sell our bus. We traveled for a short time and now we are moving on to something different. So we're really sad. We've loved it so much, but we are getting ready to sell it. So starting off, this here, of course, are just our hooks. This is where we put our towels to dry, our coats, anything from rain or outdoor. Um, we built, this was actually, um, a shelf within our bus so we just kept that and made it all of our bathroom stuff so nice and accessible here um, a hook to hang my hat of course needed um, over here is we kind of left this alone it is just all of our electricity circuit board things things I definitely don't know about so we just kind of left it alone and fancied it up on the outside um, we made these blackout curtains with this like movable rod right here so that these two connect um, when we sleep we shut them make sure we have our privacy welcome to our kitchen um, starting here these are shelves on our ceiling that go all the way back so these front ones we kind of just use for our outside gear we have a um, outdoor camping stove if we want ever wanted to cook outside and like towels backpacks um, when we went on hikes, just easy access right there. Um, starting here, so we got these cabinets actually from Ikea. It was with the countertops and the cabinets beneath. We were going to make our own countertops and we got all the supplies. And it just was one going to take a really long time to build them out. But also expensive. When we looked at Ikea, we were like, man, they come with everything. So... Um, of course, even though we live in a bus, we had to have a junk drawer. So this was our designated junk drawer. And below it, we kept a big um, five gallon drinking water tank that we would fill with ice and water from anytime we went to Walmart, getting, make sure that we have nice, cold, fresh water. And then we have our fridge. So we can pull it out, it's on a slide and then pretty self-explanatory but a fridge to keep all of our food nice and cold and we were going to try out the cooler but that is just not not doable when you live in the bus life at least not for us a, a fridge was definitely necessary um starting over here again just more cabinet space so here was silverware we did um our pots and pans fit in these also all of them have the like eight pound resistant thing to make sure they close while we're driving and then down here, I think with rags and oven mitts, things like that. So um, this, I am so glad that we got a stove and an oven in our bus. So we actually found it on Facebook classifieds, I think, or marketplace for a really, really cheap deal. And we were praying that it worked and we took it home, kind of cleaned it out. It worked. Um, so, I mean, in the summertime, it's still really, really hot to use. So. We didn't use it as much as probably we thought we were going to because it's like 90 degrees and then you turn on an oven and it's so hot in here. But we still love that we could have it because dinner time, meal times, we had an oven and stove to cook on. Um, behind, Nate just custom made for each of our knives a place to keep our knives safe and in there so we didn't really have to worry about them in a drawer. Um, cutting anything I guess but um, yeah they're nice up in there um, below our stove we just kind of made kind of like a trash chute so we'd have recycling and garbage in each one and um, it worked out great they're little and small but it worked out great so we could put them in the small trash cans so we didn't have a big giant garbage bag that we didn't know where to fit in um, moving over this was more just kitchen supplies spatulas cooking utensils things like that Underneath is where we kept our plates, bowls, all of our other kitchen supplies that we needed. We actually have um, an outlet here. So we did have a blender, a mixer, everything that we needed inside this cabinet as well. 
Coming underneath the sink, we have our gray water tank. So we would just take that out, dump it. We did overflow once, so make sure that you always check your gray water tank underneath your sink. Um, but I love just having it right there accessible. We didn't really have to move around things. It was really easy to dump out. The reason we decided to kind of get into this lifestyle or do this, I, I really don't remember if I saw a video and I was like, that's cool, and just decided to go for it. I feel like this is one of those things, you either do it or you don't, so we went for it. Um, she loves to travel and we knew that this could be something that we could do that was doable and easy at the moment for us, and we went for it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Nathan kind of had to convince me of van or bus life for a little bit because like you said like I love traveling but I never really considered bus or van life as traveling and so he definitely like showed me and I was like that's just crazy like what a risk to just jump in and then he worked on me long enough apparently and then I just feel like what Nate said we just kind of jumped in we got a van we figured out that wasn't exactly what we wanted so we built a bus and went traveling. Definite pros are like the road is at your fingertips. Like if you want to go somewhere, you go. Like you don't really have much holding you back. You get to decide where you're going. And I, I think that was like one of my favorite parts is just like if we wanted to spend more time somewhere, we could. If we wanted to go to Maine, we did. If we wanted to go back down to Florida, we could have. Like just wherever you want to go, you can. You're in a bus. Here's our sink and faucet. We got our faucet off of Amazon. That was actually a really good deal. And then our sink, I think we got it from Ikea. And we were really scared because we we're like, is it gonna be big enough? Is it not? But we have loved it. Um, moving back here, this is our pantry. So we made the doors. I mean, we made the whole pantry, but Nathan made these handles and the doors that I just love. Um, this was a really big thing for us for storage. Like we put our games, our food, our mosquito spray, like everything kind of odd and ends went in here because we had so much storage. So, I mean, we kept a lot of food on hand, especially pantry items, but we also, when we went grocery shopping, we only shopped for a little time being, especially with um, the humidity, maybe bread or things would go bad faster. So we kept a lot of things in here, whether it was like blankets or like I said, game boards and things like that. So um, also at the bottom is where we kept our toilet. We just had a little porta, -bot porta potty essentially. So we would just pull it out, go to the bathroom and put it back in. So we don't have that right now to show, but um, yeah, that's what we used for the bathroom. It was just really convenient in and out, but nothing very complicated there. Um, this is our couch that we love. We specifically made it this big because it turns into a bed, but also it was really big if um, we needed more space or like for people to come visit, anything like that, we wanted a big couch for that. Um, we also made a seat belt for me to come and sit back here. So a little extra safety. It was, of course, we made that. So we just had um, it bolted down into the ground. So no safety regulations, but um, some safety for me to sit back here and um, while we're traveling. The cushion, so we actually made these. So we have um, some wood on the bottom and then we just took like a foam mattress pad and we cut it into the sizes that we need. And then my sweet mother-in-law, she sewed and did all of the fabric and made it look good, stretched it and did all that for us. So we're really grateful that she did that. Um, also with some extra fabric, she made us some some fun little pillows to be on our couch. So we did that. And then moving up here, we have um, our windows that we just kept from our bus. I love our window so much. The natural light, being able to open them and get a breeze at night. We also still have the emergency exit on the window so we can open them all the way up in case if ever an emergency happened or also just opening them um, at night to have that 
breeze in the air. Um, the curtains also we just got, I think from Walmart and they were some really long ones. So we cut them in half and um, sewed them to a shorter length and put them up to fit for our windows. Up above here, this is the same storage that, like I said, goes all the way across the ceiling. So up above here, I think we still had clothes over at this end. I mean, we had so much storage in our bus that we, I packed a lot of clothes. I filled it full. So I think these two above here were still um, part of our clothes. And like I said, a, a ton of storage. And even underneath our couch here, we have storage that we use for things that we barely use, like extra I think jackets and blankets that were under there that yes, we could have um, accessibility to them, but we didn't really need it while we were traveling. Um, our table, we made the wood top. We just got a piece, I think from Lowe's and just cut it to size and made it. So we got this swivel. This is from Lagoon USA. So this was actually a factory second. It has like a little tiny ding on it. Um, you can really barely see it at the bottom, but it was discounted for us. So um, the cool thing about this table, right? It swivels all the way we around where we want it, but it also comes up and down and then you can take it off and store it away if you're not wanting to use the table at the time. So we're really glad that we bought this swivel table because um, just with our short little entryway right here, we need to push it out of the way. If it was ever in our way, it was easy to slide to the side. Uh, traveling together in a small space honestly wasn't that bad for us. I've heard a lot of people that are like, I need my space, but I felt like we never really were after each other. Um, I mean, it does seem small, but it's also kind of big. Like we could walk past people in the kitchen or each other in the kitchen and not bump into each other. But honestly, I felt like being together like made our you know marriage better or our relationship grow. and. The only hard thing was is we're both kind of big cuddlers and when it's summer and it's hot you, you want don't. this amount of skin touch and the other person is like that's too hot get away from me that that was really the only bad part i think um i would also say not take it with a grain of salt but also we lived in our bus for like two to three months so we i think with time things could have been different so we're not saying that like, we're not perfect. We, right, we're no, not right. perfect. I mean, we had disagreements. Right, so we weren't just like, our relationship is so great. So I think maybe time did that with us and we were both definitely on board. So I think sometimes maybe um, if one person in the partnership isn't fully on board with van or bus life, that can kind of make things difficult. But we were definitely both wanting to do this. We both worked on building out the bus. We both put our hard work and sweat into it. And so I think when we both reaped the, re the rewards of traveling, like it just made it that much better because we were like, we've been waiting for this, we've been working for this. And so um, we both really like traveling and being outdoors. And so that was a big thing too, is we were in a place that we loved. We were in nature and doing the things that we loved. And so naturally that brought us a lot of happiness. And so we didn't have a ton of needing our own personal space a ton, but if we did, it is big enough that Nathan well, would... I, when I drive, I'm up there, yep. she's back here, so... And there's times where it's six, seven hour days, so... I guess maybe that's why it was easier, because we actually did have quite a bit of space, or alone time as well. All right, welcome to our bedroom area. So... We lived in a van before for a little bit and the bed was way too small. So a big priority for us this time was to have a big bed. So we have a full size queen in here and it has been awesome. Uh, we have our lights right here to turn on and off. That way when we're coming into bed, we can lay down, turn them off once we're right there. Um, back here, we have a headboard that goes, I can't remember, it's pretty deep. So right here we have a skylight. It was the old, uh, emergency exit that most buses have. Uh, we wanted to do something with it instead of cover it up, so we took it out, added some plexiglass, um, sealed it off, and it lets in a lot of light. It gets very hot though, so most of the time we do have it shut, but if it's a cooler day, we can have it open. 
Um, here is our fantastic fan. It blows air in and out. We wanted to make sure that so if we're cooking it can suck the air out and then when we're laying in bed it can blow down on us. Uh, we learned the hard way. We did not have a rain cover for it. We woke up one night with a puddle about that big around and the next time we were able to stop at RV store we bought a cover so that we could have it open during the rain. Um, here is an AC unit. It worked when we bought the bus. We covered it up and I must have hit a line and we lost the AC in the rear. So that kind of sucked, but luckily we still had the fan. All right, here's our outdoor shower. Uh, we didn't put curtains up to keep privacy. We just go at night. We have a switch on there so we can lather up, rinse off, turn it off so we don't waste all our water because we only have 20 gallons back there. Um, here's the back of our oven. Here's our gas line. It runs all the way to the back of the bus to our propane. All right, so here's our propane. Like I said, that line runs all the way back here. We just mounted it up underneath here. It is laying on its side, but it was specially made to lay down by propane company. I'm not sure who, but they made it so that it could be laid down and not standing straight up so you could have it better fitting in there. So here's the back of our bus. We have a backup camera. Actually, it's just a camera so we can have it on and off whenever we need. Here's where we fill up our water. We had to put this in and then this opens up to our bed and then here's all the storage we have underneath. So in here we have two 100 amp hour batteries linked together to make a 200 amp hour battery. Uh, then we got a 40 amp MPPT charge controller for our 400 watts of solar that are up on the roof. Uh, we have a fuse box, a uh, thousand watt inverter, and then my brother-in-law actually made these little clips for our wires that could just clip in so that way they weren't dangling throughout the bus. We also have a 22 gallon tank for our water um, that we bought off of an old RV and it came with the pump for our water. And then we also have a tankless water heater that vents out the side so we don't have gases coming underneath there. It's all getting vented outside. Um, as of right now, our future is, you know, sell the bus and put that towards the house. Um, I mean, we built this, we're gonna build our own house. We're really excited for that. But then I would say a little further into the future, we would definitely like to get into this again and build something, but hopefully a little bit smaller. We, we did love the bus, but it would probably be for weekends, so we wouldn't need such such a big, big vehicle. Yeah, I think like right now, I'm getting into my career more, and so I really wanna pursue that for um, at least a little while, and um, so we're building a house, kind of settling down, maybe starting a family, but even if we do um, have a kid or two, we would still really wanna pursue van life. Like, we've seen it done, and, um, uh, we, I admire that when people still take their kids and travel and like it doesn't really slow them down and so we really stu do still want to like hopefully in the future sometime be able to do full time on the road. I would say to give any advice that's for someone who's going to build a bus like we kind of talked about before is just do it like it is a risk and make sure that you are aware of like the risk that you're taking and make sure that you can still find um, some success with it. But just jump in, even if you don't know what you're doing. Like, we did build out a van before this, so building the bus was easier. But when we built out that van, we didn't know much about electrical or plumbing or water or anything really to do with a bus. Like, Nathan has some background in construction and knew how to build things, but it definitely was a big learning curve. And so there's YouTube videos, there's help. Like, just jump in and take that risk. Do it. If you wanna follow along for more, our Instagram is Daisha Pitch, and our YouTube is Nate and Daish. We will be videoing us building our house and our new adventures with that. So follow us along. Thanks for being here for our bus tour, and we will see you guys later.